David Howells. Neil Ruddock, who's come forward with increasing frequency. First enjoying territorial supremacy. That's for Barmby, back post, it's in! Who got the touch? Anderton's claiming it. Howells was there with him. Tottenham lead in the 26th minute. And Darren Anderton, one and three quarter million pound purchase from Portsmouth, who played in the FA Cup semi-finals for Portsmouth against Liverpool last season, scored a goal against them as well, has put Tottenham ahead here. He got the touch as Howells came in as well. And Neil Ruddock played his part. Great cross to pick out Barmby. Side foot from Anderton, fine goal. David Howells, Barmby, gets it back from Sheringham, Barmby, what a great strike, corner given, oh marvellous little bit of football by Tottenham again, who really are beginning to flow, he gets it back over the top from Teddy Sheringham, watches it drop and well, Segers must have just got his fingertips to it because the call has been given. Oh, Ruddick got a head on. Sheringham puts it in. 2 0 Spurs. Just over a minute to go to half time. And the second goal, which has always looked like coming, finally arrives off the head of Terry Sheringham. And it's no more than Spurs deserve. Neil Ruddock's little back flick at the edge of the six-yard box. Sheringham in acres of space. Sega's beaten easily. Well, the back flick might actually have come off one of the defenders. Darren Anderton goes outside Elkins. Good ball in. Barmby's header, fabulous goal, wonderful strike, and Tottenham are running riot. Oh, what a sensational goal, what precision. Oh, are the smiles now in the Tottenham dugout. Nicky Barmby, a goal to illuminate any match. And Darren Anderton looked up, chipped it up. And look how he headed that. He stooped right up into the top corner. 3 0 Spurs into stoppage time in the first half. Again, Tottenham keep the pressure on. Paul Allen. Edinburgh. This is Samways. Edinburgh again. Drilled in left footed. Sheringham came to meet it. Got there ahead of the keeper. Again, neat build up by Tottenham. You can see Sheringham starting his run very early to come to the near post. Pulled down by Samways. Barmby gets it back to Samways again. Anderton. Spurs just beginning to lift the pace a little bit. Still Anderton, he's kept his feet. Wonderful save, Saggers. What a goal it would have been for Anderton. He showed great strength to continue the run. Good save by the Dutchman Hans Saggers. But what a strong run by Darren Anderton, just 20 years of age. It was the defender who finally ran out of steam. Flicked on by Fashionu. Dobbs has pulled one back. Maybe that's given Wimbledon something to think positively about. 19 minutes gone in the second half. And Wimbledon have clawed one back. The little flick on was by Fashionu. Knocked back by Holdsworth, I think it was. And then young Gerald Dobbs, just 22 years of age, just lifting it simply over the top of Thorsvet. Sheringham was 
trips, free kick. Howells is taking it quickly, and that's caught Wimbledon all over the place. Anderton, oh, great little touch, Anderton. Credit the keeper with a good save. But it's a joy to see players who think as quickly as Barmby and Anderton. He saw where the keeper was, Anderton. He just tried to nick it right over the top of him. This is the left back, just in Edinburgh. He can keep going right into the penalty area. Now, came back to him off the defender hardly. Samway thumped it against the post. Wimbledon's defenders were always chasing back then. In fact, it was just the angle of post and bar. Wimbledon's throw. And the match now well into stoppage time. Holdsworth. It's right under the bar. Cockwell's forced it in. The header from Cockwell, and then after Forsmed had made the half save, Steve Cockwell, the second half substitute, squeezing it over the line. And that puts a, a totally different complexion on the scoreline, but surely time's running out now for Wimbledon. There's barely time for Wimbledon to mount one more attack. In fact, there isn't time at all. 